Hello, everyone, and welcome to Budget Life with Paula. I'm back today to show you what actually hit the account um, for my second income for the month of March. I will be using the annual budget workbook by Tasha Mind Your Money. Her website will be listed in my descriptions. So please feel free to check her website out. She's got tons of wonderful products and easy savings challenges real easy i finished up one savings challenge challenge that she sent me on um my previous video so real easy 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 and quick and those are the type of savings challenges that i am going to be working on this year something that's not going to take me too long i've got one and that's the one thousand dollar coin challenge so that's the only one that's really long drawn out, but I love the little mini savings challenges. It really does work for me. So let's see what I did receive in my income um, for the month of March. And this is just the second income. So it doesn't look like things changed over in the cash expenses actual. Um, I know I budgeted for $1,020. Let's see how much because there's not a category for the actual total. Like um, I'm kind of used to at the top, but we'll work it out together. We'll figure it all out together how much I actually spent. I mean, not spent, but how much um, I was able to work with. And for those that are new, this budget and all of my budgets... Um, would be after deductions like my tithe and giving, my um, home obligations, and then the saving for the um, new home, purchase of the new home. So um, giving, didn't do anything here, no investing, everything, gas, food, household, and the kids daily, all of that stayed the same. I did not change any of that. Moving down to the bill and the expenses in this box, nothing changed. That's my iCloud, Prime, Disney Plus, Capital One, and ins health insurance didn't get anything. Doesn't look like I changed anything in my savings. Everybody got the same, and you can see that. So that still stays at 121. I think here's where we did a little bit of changing and adding. Uh, Mama's Peace of Mind stayed at 41. All Things House stayed at 20. I did bump up low priority um, to $24. And when Caleb and I do the um, Uno Flip game, I may take a couple of dollars from the $24 and put it in um, my household stockpile. I really would like to... Um, have a little bit more money in that envelope so that I can make a BJ's, which is like a Costco to us, um, shop being instead of just going there to get something that we really need and we use a lot. I like to, I would like to save up and really get, um, do a whole trip, you know, do a whole trip. So we'll see about that if I can remember to do that. Nothing for the envelopes in the high priority binder except for um, emergency fund. I wanted to even that. Well, not really even it, but really make it be $25 instead of $22. Okay, so this is a new row that I added as I figured out my actual income. And that is a month ahead savings challenge envelope. I would like to save up at least one month ahead for all of the current bills that I have. And so I've turned that into a savings challenge. And so I will be stuffing that along with my other savings challenges as well. So I'm going to put $11 in that category. So we will need to add this box, 41, 20, 24, 25, and 11. 124. I feel like I need to do that one again. 41, 20, 24, 25, and then 11. Yep, it's still 121. I was just looking at this number being 121. I was like, oh, this may not be 121. So, but it is. So then um, the last box of other has our remaining 
um, bills and major expenses. And as you can see, nothing changed in this box. So that is $339. Okay. So I'm going to zoom out so we can include the calculator. So we're going to keep the 121. We're going to hop down and get 339. We're going to hop back up to the other 121. Move over to $49 and then 416. Leaving us with 1020 1046. And I I don't know where to put it. I don't know where to put it. I think I'm gonna just write because I like to I like to write out what I have to work with. And and I'm I'm pretty sure that Tasha doesn't do it this way, but I'm gonna make it work like this. Cause I don't see in a place for actual other than the columns. So we got a little bit more. Um, let's see how much more we got. We got $26 more. So I was able to add some money into um, other categories. And I think that was really good. So thank you guys so much. I know this was a short, quick video. Um, let's see. The next thing you'll probably be watching is the cash stuffing for um, my second income. I really do appreciate you all staying with me and working on this workbook, this new workbook and figuring things out all together and making it be your own. If you're new to budgeting, always remember that your budget is your, your style, your way, your life, and you can adjust whatever you need to adjust so that things will work well for you. Budgeting should not hopefully be a stress for a moment, but it will allow you to see where your money can go and where it may not need to go at the time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be safe and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.